Fiesta Italia is this weekend. Joining me is Frank Alfano, good friend of the morning show, and also Anne Marie Newman, Miss Festa. Now, Frank also supplied us with some great old school pictures that will really give you a sense of their contributions and deep roots in the Madison area. And what I love, Anne Marie is going to talk about uh, you very distantly related to Sargento cheese. So we have some real history to talk about. First of all, Festa Italia this weekend. Correct. Even if the weather is a little bit iffy. <coughs> We won't blame Amy, we'll blame Charlie. Yeah, definitely. And but it all starts Friday at 4.30. Friday 4 night, 4.30, 5 o'clock, uh, we have Universal Sounds coming and um, Hometown Sweethearts playing that night. You got the Jimmies too, playing Jim, this Jimmy's weekend. Jimmies coming Saturday night. You have some folk dancers as well. Now let's talk about the Italian community as we look at some of these beautiful vintage pictures. Uh, you know, people know Greenbush. I think people will probably know Greenbush uh, and the restaurant. They may not know the neighborhood when it was founded. Well, Greenbush is actually one of the original plats of the city of Madison. So it's over 150, 175 years old. And back in those days, it was basically swamp. It was actually, part of it's actually the uh, city dump. And so come to the late 1800s, early 1900s, they started a mass immigration of Italians, uh, African Americans, and Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And that was the only area that they could afford to live. Wow. So they all settled down there. And what they did is all come together and created a very, very vibrant and, you know, loving community where, you know, you would know the people next door and the whole block. Mm -hmm. People would get together at, like, you know, Olin Park for picnics on Sundays and you knew everybody. And I love these pictures because a lot of the Greenbush neighborhood, that area, is torn down, of course, because of development. So it's these festivals and these pictures that keep this alive. Tell me a little bit, Anne Marie, about your family's roots here. My Italian family came and settled in Plymouth. Um, there were three sisters, uh, the Borelli, Lombardi, and Sartori families. And the Sartori family was the one that started Sargento cheese and now Sartori cheese as well. They were kind mm -hmm. of a great, great uncle, great aunt of, of my family, but they were um, very active in the community. Mm -hmm. My great grandmother was uh, helping to assimilate Italian Americans. That is so amazing that you have that line, that history. Mm -hmm. And Festa Italia is something that has been going on for how many years? I think we even have vintage pictures from, I don't know, 70s and 80s. Yeah, it started basically back in the 70s and 80s mm -hmm. as a community picnic at uh, Olin Park where all the Italian families would get together and certain part of the picnics would be the, you know, Bruno family, certain part would be the Parisi family you know, in the Stasi family. Uh-huh. And so from that, it grew and grew and grew into basically Festa Italia. I think it is so important to keep holding this and keep talking about history so that not only Italians, but all of us, we get to appreciate also the history. My mother grew up in an ethnic neighborhood. Uh, it was all uh, the, the, the Yugoslavs, and then there was the Greeks and the Italians in Rochester, New York. And still, it's so important to keep talking so you know that your descendants understand and have an appreciation, and also just people out in the community understand and appreciate. Well, we had uh, Nick Stasi used to be our club historian. Nick's passed away quite a few years now. But what he did is he assembled all these pictures that, you know, you can see on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, families would give them pictures, you know, and I think we have some like three to 4,000 pictures. Oh my gosh. You know, which we put on CDs mm -hmm. several years ago. Well. You can also at uh, Festa Italia more history. Will there be pictures available for people to look yeah. at? Because I'm sure there are. I could go on and talk about this forever, <laughs> especially coming from a family of immigrants too. Mm -hmm. But we got to get moving to weather. But first, let's talk about the actual event. 4:30 Friday, and it goes through Sunday, through Sunday afternoon. At six. Yep. Okay, and it's at McKee Farms Park, Fitchburg, correct? In, in Fitchburg. All right. So hopefully you will get out there and enjoy. And Amy. Anne-Marie and Frank, we're counting on you.